Do you ever feel like you have those months where um, it just kind of feels like business has dried up? Like the leads just have stopped coming in? And I know that you have, know that those months uh, do happen, right? Um, a lot of times it's because we're relying on some of these more traditional methods, uh, primarily referral-based methods, where we really rely, uh, the attorneys rely on a certain number of referral sources to consistently send them business. And that's a really difficult spot to be in when you're putting your, your eggs into the referral-based basket, all of your eggs, so to speak, into that basket, um, because you're not in control of, of that lead flow. It's dependent upon somebody else's lead flow and abilities uh, to send you business. That can be difficult, and it can be difficult to uh, facilitate that referral process when it has dried up. And so it kind of creates what we call this white knuckle syndrome, where it's almost like analysis paralysis. So used, people get so accustomed to business sort of just coming in, the referrals just kind of happen, happening um, by nature, you know, just kind of organically. Uh, business comes in. We rely, I hear a lot of people that rely on word of mouth, you know, walk by or drive by traffic, uh, things like that. And that can really uh, take a, cause a hit to your revenue, to your lifestyle, and just to how you feel internally. You know, if you're consistently anxious or worried about where the next lead is going to come from, right, that, that is not good for our vibration, for our frequency, for our mindset, for for how we act and what we attract in the world, okay? So what is the fix? Well, to fix inconsistent lead flow, it really requires consistent marketing. And a lot of times we think about marketing as just telling people what we do over and over again. I've heard that description used of marketing. And it's really not the case. What you really have to create when it comes to marketing is leverage, okay? You have to be able to leverage yourself. This is why digital marketing is so valuable. It allows you to repurpose yourself, repurpose your messages, and get it in front of the exact people that you want it to be in front of. This is why we help our clients with uh, social media advertising, social media marketing. Also, obviously, Google plays a huge role. But how do you create that consistency? Well, you have to be consistent. You have to deliver consistent marketing messages, and it has to really speak to your audience. Just telling people what services you provide or the importance of a will or a trust or other legal document, it's just not going to be enough to get people to step forward and take motivation, have motivation to take, to take action. So what we have to do is really be cognizant, be aware of the words we say and the messages that we put out there. So really take some time. If you're working on a way to overcome your inconsistency of lead flow, obviously I would suggest that you talk with me or somebody from our team uh, about how you can get consistent with your marketing, get alignment with the problems that you solve, and give people a very clear call to action of exactly what to do to solve that problem. When you do that with your marketing, you'll have success. To do that on your own, right, without expert guidance and help, here are some, some key things to be aware of. Sit down and do some brainstorming. What are the, the five or ten biggest problems that you solve for your clients? How do you help them overcome that? Why is it important? What are the repercussions of not overcoming this obstacle or fixing this problem? Brainstorm about that. You can create your email marketing messages. Maybe adjust your website accordingly. In fact, definitely adjust your website accordingly. But look into doing social media. Look into advertising on social media. Uh, it's a great way to get targeting done uh, correctly. Get your message in front of the, the people that will respond to the message, who the message really is for. And when you do your marketing, think about that one person who honestly needs your help. Not the, the community at large or your email list at large and what's going to resonate with the most people. I want you to think about that client who desperately needs your help, who's in serious need. And talk to that person. Speak to that person's uh, desires, to the outcome that they want to achieve, and to what's really hurting them. And if you do that, and you do that correctly, right, and do that consistently, you will increase your lead flow. It will just happen. So, if you're in that position where you're dealing with inconsistent lead flow, maybe you're getting a lot of fee pushback, Maybe the folks are, out, are talking to you and asking you about specific documents and not about how you can serve them, how you can help them out of pain. 
that tends to be a marketing and sales problem. It's exactly what we help folks with at Integrity Marketing. So I would encourage you to apply these strategies about taking that servant mentality, being consistent with your marketing message, and fall in love with digital. Create that leverage for yourself and for your law firm where you can be broadcast, where you can be in front of uh, a lot of folks. I know people that were doing live seminars uh, years ago where if they got 25 people in front of them uh, at, a, at a live event, they were super happy. That would be a success for them. And you can reach way more than 25 people on social media and through the internet and through email marketing with much more powerful messages uh, that are more keyed into the individual, okay? And not just reserved for a group. All this stuff takes a mindset shift. And one of the things to remember, if you're locked into this place of inconsistent revenue, if you're having those white knuckle months, one thing to remember is that you have been brought to this point in your career, in your practice, in your lifestyle, in your revenue. You've been brought to this point based on the skill set, mindset, and strategies that you currently have, that you've developed over the years. And to get better, right, to improve, to increase, we have to Im improve ourselves as well. We have to have a better skill set. We have to have a new and advanced mindset. We have to employ or deploy better strategies to help us achieve new goals. So this is a commitment for you. If this is something that's on your heart, um, this is your dream to create a, a more fulfilling practice and to really and truly scale up. Again, uh, I'd encourage you to, one, maybe watch our masterclass. Uh, two, just go ahead and book a phone call and you'll find links for both of those in the comments section of this video when we wrap up the live. Uh, but again, to get back to that inconsistent revenue, it's going to take a break from what you have done into doing something new. So again, focus on those 10 big problems that you solve for your clients. Use that as the crux of your marketing strategy, the messages that you create, and do that consistently. Okay, some of those places you can do that. Again, obviously, Facebook is one. Here we are, okay? But in email, on LinkedIn, in your blog, these are great ways to, dis to disseminate your messages and create that leverage. So hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of help, okay, for correcting that inconsistency that may be happening in your firm with lead flow. So uh, have a great day. Uh, stay tuned to Integrity Marketing. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, uh, both on YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, watch for updates. We're going to help you all scale your practice and create the lifestyle and, and that dream practice that we know that you want. So